Hi, I'm Melinda Eyre. As a beauty editor and a busy mum, some days it's pretty hard to look glowing and healthy. Some days we look a little tired and dull. And I find the best way to get that healthy glow every day is to use a gradual tanner, and especially one for your face. But I know a lot of you are pretty frightened about applying a tanner to your face. So today I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks of mine uh, with applying fake tan. So gradual tanners are just a fantastic product to use um, to get that glow all over. So with the pod products, I use the gradual tanning body moisturizer after my shower every day just to give me a glow all over. And it's really hydrating and nourishing for the skin as well. And then I like the deep tanning body butter for my legs. And that's got an SPF 15 in it and some mango and shea butter. But my favorite is the pod liquid tan and that's the serum for your face and that's a gradual tanner and the first thing you'll notice about the pod all the pod tanning products is that they have a tint in them so they have a malt extract which gives it a slight tint if you can see that so that means you know where to apply it and you're not going to have trouble you know that tint will guide you um, the first thing to remember is that you want to prep your skin in the lead up. So you want to exfoliate really carefully in the days before. And I like to use the liquid detox by Pod because that exfoliates gently with papaya enzymes. And then on the day, you don't want to moisturize before you put the tanner onto your face. Um, the other thing is that the moisturizer, yeah, that'll cause streaking. So you definitely don't want to do that. So I just put a few, a couple of pumps into my hand and I apply the tanner at night so that it's got time to develop overnight before I have my shower in the morning. And the best thing about these is they absorb really quickly. They're very lightweight. You just start in the center of your face and then spread outwards and feather it outwards. Just use gentle pressure and a fairly flat hand and make sure you go down over the jawline and up over your forehead and you'll see that it absorbs very quickly. And because it's lightweight, it's not gonna shift around a lot during the day and you know cause streaks. Like a lot of the pod tanning products, it's pretty impossible to overdose with these. And it's got a beautiful amount of nourishing ingredients in it, like rose hip. And so you can really use this as a daily hydrator. So I hope that clears up some of your worries about tanning and especially for the face. A few final tips, make sure you go and wash your hands after you apply the tan. Make sure you don't exfoliate between applications. So if you're gonna put the serum on for a few days and build up that color, don't exfoliate on those days. And then just keep using it as your daily hydrator.